to see some weird, weird bounces off the stick. So it's going to be interesting to see how both teams play with the weather factor into this game. Well, Setters at the top trying to move towards the box, and it's good. Quickly getting off of the penalty corner. It took one to two passes to go right towards Melanie Rennie. It slipped past her, and the Setters take a 1-0 lead here with 27-28. Do have the slight possession advantage at the oh, moment. Oh, the Setters are going to take a shot, and it's in. The Setters take a 2-0 lead. An absolute rocket into the net. Took it upon herself. And just like that, the Setters take a 2-0 lead with 16-11 remaining in the first half. We see that when the Pemmin control possession here, they're going to work towards the net. Defenders crashing, goes for the shot, and it's in! What a great play to work towards the circle, splitting through the defenders, and the Penmen are on the board. We will confirm in a minute who was there to get the shot off as there were multiple defenders crashing right in front of the box. And it is confirmed Maddie Holt was in on the play to get the goal and to get the Penman on the board. Tick down from three seconds to two to one, and that's the ball game. The setters of Pace University extend from 13 to one to 14 and one and 10 and 0 in the Northeast 10 Conference as your penmen suffer the loss here two to one.